Let's make a fender. Clearly I could buy one, but why do that when you have a 3D printer and modeling software? You gotta take this fender plate off. First I'm gonna model this fender plate, and then I'm gonna create the dough. So I've got the fender plate modeled up. I had to split it in two because it doesn't really fit on my printer. That's okay, I could just screw them together. I also made the dome a separate piece because it didn't quite fit on my 3D printer. So I'm just gonna bolt it on to the fender plate. Now I can just print up the final pieces and call it done there, but I need to take it a step further. Now obviously the one wheel is electric, but where are you supposed to charge your phone? I could try to hack it and get into the big battery to charge my phone, but nah. The battery powers the motor, which spins the wheel, so I want to harness the power of that spinning wheel to charge my phone. I've got to run a test where I can spin this wheel and hold my motor against it to see how much voltage I get out. The big wheel is going to spin a little wheel which will spin the motor. The little wheel that I want to use is from this. So now I've got my wheel, I've got my motor, and I made a motor wheel housing to put it all in to mount it on top of the fender. I bought this little car charger, it works off about 10 to 12 volts. So it should be perfect for what I want to do. prints are finally done and now I'm just gonna have to assemble it and I'm gonna put some of this thread locker on there because it's gonna vibrate like a mother <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. I do have to go pretty fast, so I'm gonna work on version two very soon. I've made all the 3D models available for download below, even the doesn't charge your cell phone boring fender, that's also below. I have a lot of project ideas and videos coming up, so please subscribe and tell your friend Brian to subscribe so you both don't miss out.
I gotta go charge my phone. <laughs>